Hi guys, this is me, the Boss Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to record with Elgato HD 60s, or you have an older version of uh, Elgato. So I'm going to show you how to record and how to stream and what's the best settings. So it is uh, with Elgato HD 60 device. It's much easier. Just plug in and play. It's that so simple. So I'm going to show you my best settings here. So when I'm streaming and in YouTube, so and when I'm recording also so for capture if you're playing an Xbox choose Xbox or Xbox 360 or PS4 and uh, you choose uh, audio input you choose HDMI of course your recorder HDMI HDMI color range you put it as standard do not put an expanded expanded what will happen your video will be fade out a little bit for colors so keep it standard here uh, profile keep it in HD don't change it allow 60 fps check this box because this will uh, uh when you record any things or you stream it will stream at uh, 60 frames so this is really good here uh, quality can change the quality from better to good or to the best if you have really high end pc really good like my pc you can put it all the way in the best if not you just drag it a little bit here or here no problems now um uh, allow 60 this is optional if you are have really good pc you can check this box if not that means your screen in here will play at 60 frames uh, like preview if if you have some sort of a like lag or keep crashing or whatever whatever the problem is freezing or something like that so just uncheck this box but i check it because i don't have any problems with elgato software even with the capture device so everything is good as you see here input is uh, 1080i at 60 frame output the same for the, the uh, for capture device here the the ad also good so a picture don't want to don't change anything just keep it as default the ad same profile is same so nothing here you have to do so yeah let's go to uh, settings in here so first of all i'm going to show you here now this uh, library location uh, basically can change where your video will be out basically you can put a desktop if you put in videos depends on you screenshots uh, you want to en enable this both of them enable flashback recording and enable stream command basically if you have a stream command like you can enable just put them at default don't change anything in here if you want to change the file where you uh, when you record finishing where the file will be rendered uh, so you can choose anywhere, uh, anywhere you want this is basically easy sharing now here the important things you have to pay attention here so you have to uncheck all this box you don't need any of them if they just like this checked just uncheck them all only thing you have to keep just mp4 file if you don't check this mp4 your, your video will not render in mp4 so mp4 is really really good for uh, youtube to process and everything so here it says use a 1080r for ipad just uncheck this will be checked just uncheck this this is not everything else is keep the same don't change anything but make sure you uncheck all of them just keep mb4 file in here updates just put item link check for update you don't, you don't want to change anything else hotkeys just same nothing now as you see i'm using nvidia g4 gtx ti uh, if you have like built-in like software or something like that uh just put the quality in here or somewhere in the middle in here so it depends i have really good graphic card so i can handle the speed and processing and everything so that's it guys if you want to record just um let me i show you now another settings i'm using also so for the for any device you can just uh change this and you can change what type of i'm using microphone usb audio device when i'm recording or do live stream or things like that and also you can uh, mute here now you can hear the noise maybe maybe you cannot i can hear the noise also you can disable the preview like that i'm disabled now you can enable the preview again and also you can do annotation in here like you see showing like that text or things like that so yeah if you want to edit a screen you go ahead here and just add uh, like webcam you can add images uh, we can add text or video let's like say i want to add images or anything like that just select the file and add image will image will show up in here then if you want to save the scene just click and save the scene let's say if you want to disable any type of scene just click in it it will disable let's see let, let me choose this scene see now it shows here uh, stay connected to facebook and instagram and facebook just uncheck that you just disable that 
all this you have to do now this is basically a simple tutorial this is not like a very very advanced tutorial and uh, no one will come to my comments oh you didn't explain very much you didn't do that so this is really simple for who for beginners who are using basically it's not that hard in here so if you want let's say you want a live stream you want to connect your youtube channel so uh, you have to go here and hit youtube all you have to do is just put your uh, email and your password and that's it your link your account through this uh, elgato software and that's it you're able to stream so easily and so much better now uh, for this you don't want to change anything in here so for this only choose automatic just choose choose this small like gear icon in here then go to your public privacy you choose public category you can choose with same like youtube you don't want to change here but only thing you want to change is this 1080i uh, frame rate you want to choose 60 frame rate and that's it enable copy stream says no do not check this you make another copy of your live stream you don't want to do that and if uh, no this megabytes what is what is this this basically your internet speed you upload the speed now let's say if you have like uh, now if when i change that you see here changes now i choose like four megabits now it says here 720p 60 frame let, let, let me I lower to 3 megabits in here it says 720 60 frame is still the same so when I lower that it says 720 30 frame per second now let's say I have really high speed internet make sure you go do test speed first see your upload and download uh, your upload the, uh, the important thing is about uh, your upload speed make sure you check that your upload speed if like uh, you have like 8 megabytes or 10 megabytes I have 20 megabytes so I can put it all the way up uh, it should say here 10 is 60 but somehow it glitched or something so it shows 30 but when I'm recording or when I'm basically uh, streaming I get 60 frames per second so uh, I think this is this is for your microphone here you can uh, talk when you press that I uh, can you see I don't know if you can hear my my voice or something like that so you can choose what type of devices you want here you can just config your uh, your uh, audio settings you can put it high or low or something like that so it's same everything so you don't want to change anything else as for Elgato basically it is simple and you go to edit in here you can edit your videos in here but I don't use this uh, capture software just uh, you can edit if you want to you can just uh, skip you can see your where you recorded like I'm recorded this uh, for out for for out for videos uh, previously so yeah this is it this is all about this is a really simple tutorial so guys if you uh, so guys do not forget to subscribe like the video and share it with your friends if you have any time of questions just leave them in the, down in the comment section below so i'm always read the comments guys so yeah i hope you have a good time and i hope you enjoyed this video and do not forget to subscribe like i said and check my channel also for more cool videos and yeah peace